In the south? In a swamp? This is not for me. Nor me. But we're alive. Well, Sean's not. Jenny, Max, Dave. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a good note to start the game in. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Alright, so welcome to the terrible playthrough. My name is Mushkash. We just got like uh, Jack back and apparently we're going straight to a party to honor this Angelo Bronte guy. No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. A function without guns. Okay. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Can't believe I'm seeing Bill in the suit, though. Dutch with a high top hat. I still haven't given him a shave to Arthur. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys who arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh <laughs> the Redskins. I love the distinction. I have no sympathy for them. Because the what now? Because stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? They get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna want to catch this guy. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. 
<laughs> oh, fuck this guy. All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> This guy keeps pissing me off and more and more and more. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I don't, oh God. It's the type of people that I hate. Can't wait to see how he ends up. at the center I think yeah I think I saw him near that fountain Yeah, it's this guy with the top hat, right? Yep. This intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, what say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can read you on the park. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, my lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not Cornwall is here too, okay. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yeah, he did. Find out what. Sure. Oh. 
Guess we're just playing on him. Be the lady. And back on the mission. Mm, too close. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Just lean against the wall. Wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turtle. Okay, let's follow that guy. Not this one in front of me, the one that we were following before. Okay. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he would sign later. Side over here to the left. Find that little reprobate chief and beat him. They will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. What the fuck? Is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. You just smack an employee. On the top of the stairs. Ooh, it's linear. Yes, I need to go to that corner. Come on, move away. Out. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Alright, we're out. Come on, guys. Move! The matter is that you're blocking the way out. Could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Now, okay. guys, three big jobs to do here. Although I'm pretty sure Bronte's Here's one is gonna be a trap or something. Right. Let's get in. Go home. 
I mean, we could do that first to see if it's trustworthy. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, <laughs> isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Let me just check if there's another cutscene. Nope. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Plenty of action in the future.